हेलो एवरीबॉडी माई सेल्फ शैलेंद्र कुमार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर जगन्नाथ यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक दूरदर्शन बर्थ ऑफ इंडियन टेलीविजन दूरदर्शन डी डी द नेशनल टेलीविजन नेटवर्क ऑफ इंडिया बिगेन इट्स फर्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंटल ब्रॉडकास्ट ऑन September 15 1959 from its first station in New Delhi by 1965 this exper- experiment become a full fledged service when dd started telecasting signals to reach tv sets within houses in and around new delhi by 1972 the dd's services were extended to bombay mumbai and amritsar and then on the seven other cities by 1975 till 1982 the transmission was mainly in black and white in by 1975-76 the satellite instructional television experiment site brought television to 2400 villages in backward areas of andhra pradesh bihar karnataka madhya pradesh odisha and rajasthan this project has been described as one of the largest communication experiments in the world It was a system test of satellite broadcast technology in India. ATS-6 was the satellite for this experiment provided by NASA. The ground segment prepared by Indian Space Research Organisation (ISRO), working in collaboration with First All India Radio and Little Doordarshan. In 1976, TV is separated from AIR, named Doordarshan. 1976 witnessed the advent of advertising on Doordarshan and in the history of television in India. Commercialization of Doordarshan saw the development of soap operas, situational comedies, dramas, musical programs, quiz shows. The first turning point in the history of television was. when doorshan introduced color television during the asian games held in new delhi in 1982 and simon tesley started installing transmitters nationwide for terrestrial broadcasting it is significant to note that during that period no private enterprise was allowed to set up tv stations or to turn transmit tv signals the second turning point came in the early 90s when the for foreign channels like cnn cable news network star tv and domestic channels such as g tv and sun tv started broadcast of satellite signals that is how people of india got the opportunity to watch regional national and international programs sarcastically groucho max an american comedian and film and television star has said i find television very educating every time somebody turns on the set i go into the other room and read a book should we blame tv for that should it be used only for education or only for entertainment or for both like you go to your class room in the morning for attending class or counseling sessions in the break you go to canteen or for refreshment or for lunch 
and then come back to your respective class or working place and finally you go back home and retire for the day in the same way with the remote in hand you go on to serve different channels on of TV so the channel based on your need you may first go to some news channels for news or headlines then you may switch over to discovery or national geographic or educating yourself with new kind of knowledge which you may not find in any book or in your textbook in particular after some time you may like to see a movie or a reality show just to entertain yourself one way convince you easily by the logic that it is you which decided whether tv should be used for entertainment or education or both television always had a great potential to become a medium of instruction and this potential had been explored and utilized in the field of education especially in distance education we may list various functions of television in delivering education through distance mode like supporting and enhancing teaching is interesting explaining clarifying motivating and encouraging encouraging the presenting unreachable facts and events in 1993 a 10 year long first ignu and isro teleconferencing experiment was done covering 525 participants this experiment demonstrated the possibility of using one way television with two way audio wherein all students could view and interact with the teacher and simultaneously the teacher could listen to all participating students through phone at remote site it became a major landmark in the extensive and continuous use of telecon Francing for distance education. The success of the experiment prompted the university to include teleconferencing as a regular component of the IGNU student support system. The Open University in UK, which is considered as a pioneer of in the field of distance education, had already. demonstrated the instructional power of television parallel to ukou ignu was established by a special act of parliament to impart education through the mode of open and distance learning and adopted a multimedia approach for transacting the course material through print audio and television ज्ञान दर्शन एजुकेशनल फेस ऑफ इंडियन टेलीविजन बींग ए डेवलपिंग कंट्री फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग ऑफ द टीवी नेटवर्क इन इंडिया टेलीविजन वॉज परसीव्ड एज एन एफिशियंट टूल फॉर इंपार्टिंग एजुकेशन टू प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी एंड यूनिवर्सिटी लेवल स्टूडेंट्स हेंस एजुकेशनल ब्रॉडकास्टिंग इन इंडिया इज more than 40 years old and unesco has played an important role in promoting use of electronic media for education educational broadcasting has suffered from a built in contradiction whether it should be used to enhance classroom education or be used to enrich the knowledge of the learners a point raised by binod c agrawal a noted educationist 
in 2005 with the introduction of open and distance education the educational broadcasting gained greater momentum the potential of electronic media particularly television was recognized because of the distance neutrality and simultaneously reach in covering large areas the national policy of education in 1986 gave due emphasis to education broadcasting in india at this juncture we may highlight some major education television projects undertaken in india for three decades 1960 to 1990 these projects are secondary school television project delhi agriculture television project satellite instruction and television experiment indian national satellite project and ugc higher education television project gyan darshan is a 24 hour education television channel known as gyan darshan gd was launched on january 26 2000 in india at ignu it was considered to be a major milestone in the field of educational broadcasting in india as a joint venture of the ministry of human resources development and information and broadcasting prasar bharti and ignu gyan darshan a fully digital exclusive educational tv channel was a digital bank bucket of four channels gd1 prime channel gd2 interactive distance education channel gd3 eclopia technology education channel and gd3 vyas higher education channel nevertheless due to some financial administrative and technical reasons the gyan darshan channel was off air on june 4 2014 and it was back on air on october 4 2017 with a gap of more than 3 years By 1983, government sanctioned a huge expansion of Doordarshan. Several new transmitters were set up throughout the country. The towards the end of eight, 80s, around 75% of population could be covered by the transmitters. Many of the programs of Doordarshan, like Hamlo, Buniyat, Nukkar, were very popular. In 1997, Prasar Bharti. A autonomous body was established Doordarshan along with All India Radio was converted into a government corporations under Prasar Bharti the Prasar Bharti corporation was established to serve as a public service broadcaster of the country which would achieve its objectives and through AIR and DD this was set up towards greater autonomy for doordarshan and air however prasar bharti has not succeed in shielding doordarshan from government control so you have seen how doordarshan has evolved over the years but today we have many channels other than doordarshan you may have here the term satellite channels generally 
satellites are used for communication or research purposes man made satellites are objects which are launched to orbit the earth or any other body let us see how satellite helps in bringing your favorite television channels to your homes what is the relationship between a satellite and a serial that you see in the cable network they might seem completely unrelated but communication satellites are instrumental in bringing the serial to your home have you ever owned a television set with an antenna which had to be positioned exactly to catch the signal a heavy rain or rough weather can disrupt your television viewing in such a case the introduction of communication satellites has improved the situation greatly how many channels can you watch on your television set star tv ask the NDTV, G, etc. are a few of many television channels available to us today. As your mother, if she had such a wide choice of channels in her childhood, the answer will be no. This is because these private channels came into the Indian television scene quite recently. In the early days, Dudashan has a monopoly as it was the only channel available to the Indian television audience. This changed in the 90s with the arrival of private channels. The coverage of Gulf War by the American news channel Cable News Network propelled the arrival of satellite television in India. Satellite dishes were used to catch the signal signals and cable operators took to satellite broadcasting immediately. Hong Kong based star satellite television Asian region entered into an agreement with an Indian company and GTV was born. It became first privately on Hindi satellite channel of India. The agreement between Star and G did not last long, but the Indian television audience was waiting for a shift from a monopoly of Tudushan and soon a number of private channels emerged. The Supreme Court ruling of 1995 which stated that the airwaves are not the monopoly of Indian government boosted their growth. Several regional channels also came into being during this period. Sun TV Tamil, Asian at Malayalam and Inadu TV were a few of them. Today, almost all major Indian languages have television channels in them. Which of your favorite regional channel? Apart from the regional channel, a most of international channels like CNN, BBC and Discovery are also available to the Indian television audience. With different categories of channels like 24-hour channels, regional channel, cartoon, movies, there is something for everyone to watch. We have seen that television is an immensely popular medium of mass communication. It is very much integrated into your daily lives and have power to influence our outlooks. This influence can have both positive and negative results. On the positive front, television can be an excellent teacher. Would not your younger sister get thrilled? if a cartoon show teaches her mathematics. Television can also be used as an excellent medium for mass education as in the site experiment. Identify one program in your favorite channel which can have a positive impact on society. Television can also open up new horizons for us. Sitting up in your living room you can access information about what is happening in a distant country like Iraq by just a click of the remote. Television can also be used to create awareness 
about various issues like environmental pollution and global warming. Can you recall any program or public service advertisement which has increased our awareness about the need to conserve our environment? Television can also provide entertainment and can be used as a tool for relaxation. As a child, have you ever nagged your parents to get the brand of chocolate advertised on TV? Did you, your parents react? We all know the television in the area of new media. We all know that internet has just and impacted each and every field of our life. Television is also not an exception. Due to its impact on television, we can see the modified form of TV and its content now. Earlier television was the most popular platform for consumption of audiovisual content but now online platforms are giving a very touch, tough competition to it. OTT over the top platforms are emerging as popular internet based programs <coughs> platforms for audiovisual content especially in urban areas. Faster and cheaper internet services and flexibility to access any OTT platform of the world are helping these internet based platforms to attract more and more viewers. A section of urban population is shifting from traditional television to OTT and the size of this section is increasing continuously. However, television is, is still the cheapest and most popular medium of entertainment. Television and online media are not just competing with each other, the two are also mixing with each other. Conver convergence of all media is a fact of the internet age. Television is now available on computers, laptops, apps and mobile phones with the help of internet. Apps of television channels are available for download on smartphones. A large number of people are now watching their TV programs on computers, tabs or mobile phones. On the other hand, general television sets are now turning into smart TVs. Internet can also be used on smart TVs in addition to general television programs. It is a mixture of TV and computer. Now to summarize this topic. Television is an audiovisual medium with a strong potential to influence the viewers. This medium uses visuals as a core element of its content and gets the benefits of audio to support and enhance the quality of its program. This medium is being used for various purposes like entertainment, news, sports, infotainment, education, etc. In the present era of internet, television is also changing. Now, television channels are available on computers, tabs and smartphones with the help of internet. Traditional television sets are Converting into smart TV, OTT platform are challenging the dominance of television as a most popular source of audiovisual entertainment content. Every medium has some advantages.
advantages and disadvantages including television few limitations of television it is primary primarily a one way communication medium it requires electricity for access most of the television services are still linear which makes this medium an appointment medium it means if you want to watch certain program you will have to switch your tv set on at a certain specific time however many dti services are offering recording facilities too both production and transmission of program are comparatively costly it is not portable however television programs can be viewed on smartphone with the help of internet presenting in depth information is little difficult through this medium that is probably why after the television revolution newspapers start focusing on detailed news reports and in depth features it is only visible within the allotted range power of the transmission or around the footprints of the satellite carrying the television signal television now been continuously changing with the changing technology thank you